Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Okay, example number 3. So, this is very simple example. Okay, so let's say here we have a satellite is sent to an altitude 1.2 times 10 power of 7 meter from earth. Okay, so kalau soalan sebut altitude, jangan confuse eh. Okay, so altitude is equal to the distance from the surface. Okay, from the surface of the earth. Okay, bukan from the center. From the surface. Boleh eh? So means that, so this is the center and this is the radius of the earth means that from the surface to this point ok ha, let's say lah satellite tu duduk kat sini so the altitude we write as h ok so this is h boleh and this is the mass of the satellite so calculate the gravitational field strength at that altitude so we want to find ok so let's say lah satellite ni orbiting the earth at this point Okay, so we want to find what is the gravitational field strength at this point. Okay, so the mass and the radius of the earth is given. So this is the mass and this is the radius of the earth. Alright, so now let's write the equation of gravitational field strength on the satellite is equal to G M. So M here is capital M due to the earth. Okay, over R squared. Uh, R tu saya letak small r. Saya tak letak capital R. So, capital R adalah radius of the earth. So, saya letak small r. Okay. So, where small r is equal to r e plus h. Small r tu dekat mana? Okay. Small r tu from the center of the earth kepada kedudukan setelah ini. This is the small r. Okay. So, ini kena tahu dulu. Jangan salah. Boleh eh? And the capital M here is the mass of the earth. Kalau soalan tu sebut, a satellite with mass apa-apa-apa, ha. So, capital M ini awak jangan masukkan mass of the satellite. Ini adalah mass of the point mass, bukan mass of test mass. Okay? So, kita boleh katakan ini adalah kita punya point mass. Okay? And satellite kita ni adalah test mass. Okay, so sekarang sebelum saya substitutekan nilai, saya nak kira dulu. Okay, R is equal to R E plus H where R E is 6.4 exponent 6 meter plus H, the altitude is given 1.2 exponent 7 meter. Okay, so awak kira betul-betul. Awak tolong check eh. So, 1.84 exponent 7 meter. Okay. So, daripada maklumat kita ada, so let's substitute in the equation. So, buat bawah sikit. Okay, so AG on the satellite 6.67 exponent negative 11 and the mass of the earth is given 6 times 10 power of 24 over R here is 1.84 exponent 7 squared. Okay, so kita boleh... Jawablah terus. So, the answer is 1.18 Newton per kg. Okay? Boleh eh? Okay. So, finish example 3. Very simple. So, let's proceed to the next example which is example number 4. Alright. So, let's read the question first. So, A. Determine the height of a point where the gravitational field strength is 1 over 3 the gravitational field strength on the earth surface. Okay? So, maknanya kita nak kira. Ha, contohnya kita ada, okay, this is the earth again. Okay. Sekejap eh. Alright. Let's say this is the radius of the earth. Okay. So, soalan suruh kita cari, determine the height of a point. So, let's label a point. Contoh saya labelkan point ini. Okay. Dan kita tak tahu pun berapa height ni. Soalan suruh kita cari. Okay, but the question give us the information about the gravitational field strength at that point which is AG at point P is equal to 1 over 3 gravitational on the earth surface. Okay, so kita boleh kira lah 1 over 3 
times 9.81 so it is equal to 3.27 newton per kg ok so daripada maklumat yang kita dah ada sekarang ini yang ini so kita bolehlah tulis satu-satu ok where A at point P ok so kita boleh tulis G times mass of the earth which is the point mass over R squared Ha, ataupun RP squared. RP tu kita tahulah. Dia daripada ha, daripada center of the earth. Okay tadi sampai dekat point P. So ini adalah small r. Okay. Where r is equal to RE plus H. So sekarang kita nak cari H ini. Okay. Tapi saya nak cari dulu small r. The value of small r. So now let's substitute all the values. AGP is 3.27. So, G 6.67 times 10 power of negative 11. Mass of the earth. Okay, diberi dekat kertas soalan. Di hadapan sekali diberi. Okay, jangan risau. 6 times 10 power of 24. And then, RP squared. Eh, squared jangan tertinggal. So, awak kira lah ni. So, RP jangan lupa take the square root nanti. Okay, sebab dekat situ adalah RP squared. So, you akan dapat 1.11 exponent 7 meter. Okay, tapi ini baru RP, R, small r, which is from the center of the earth dekat point P. Soalan bukan suruh kita cari RP, soalan suruh cari determine the height of a point. Bila sebut height of a point, mesti ukur daripada surface of the earth. Okay, so therefore H is equal to RP minus the radius of the earth. Okay, so you masukkanlah nilai dia tadi 1.11 times 10 power of 7. Minus the radius of the earth pun akan diberi. You jangan risau. So, 6.4 exponent 6. Okay. So, kira you akan dapat H is equal to 4.7 times 10 power of 6 meter. Okay. So, this is the answer. Alright. So, B. Okay. Kita gerakkan sekejap ni. Okay. So, B. The mass of the moon is 1 over 80 times the mass of the earth and the radius of the moon is 1.7 exponent 6 meter. So find the ratio of the gravitational field strength of the moon to that earth. Okay, so soalan tanya ratio. Menarik eh, baca betul-betul. Soalan nak ratio gravitational field strength of the moon to that of the earth. Okay, ha, jangan terbalik. So kita kena tulis ratio moon over gravitational field strength on the earth. Okay, so kita nak cari ini. Berapa ratio? So, kalau ratio, ingat eh, tak ada unit. Okay, so jom kita mula. So, kita tulis dulu maklumat yang diberi oleh soalan. So, saya nak buat tepi ni lah. Okay, so B. So, given that the mass of the moon is equal to 1 over 80 times the mass of the earth. So, ini yang soalan bagi. Kita keluarkan semua maklumat dia. And itu saja. Eh? And then given that the radius of the moon is 1.7 exponent 6 meter. Okay. So we want to find the ratio AGM, okay, moon to the gravitational field strength of the earth. So berapa? Okay. So kita boleh masukkanlah nilai dia. Okay, kita tulislah terus. Ha, okay, tanda soalan kita padam balik. Okay, kita tulis terus equation. AGM means that G mass of the moon over the radius of the moon. Sorry. Ha, e ni tukar kepada M. Okay. The radius of the moon squared over okay G mass of the earth over the radius of the earth squared. Alright. So yang kita boleh cancel kita cancel. Seperti G ni kita boleh cancel. And then mass of the moon Tengok dekat sini eh, mass of the moon kita tak ada nilai dia. So macam mana kita nak buat mass of the moon tu kita boleh masukkan lah. 1 over 80 ni kalau boleh you tekan calculator. So mass of the moon you akan dapat equal to uh, 1 over 80 tekan calculator you akan dapat 0 0.0125. Okay, mass of the earth. Okay, boleh So kita masukkan and it's equal to. 0.0125 mass of the earth okay over okay radius of the moon 
squared uh, times saya terbalikkan eh, sebuah ni atas saya akan jadi re squared over me ok so ini kita boleh uh, cancel lah me so based on this equation we can substitute 0 0.0125 the radius of the moon is given 1.7 exponent 6. Okay, squared. Jangan tertinggal. And then the radius of the earth. So, the radius of the earth is given 6.4 times 10 power of 6 squared. Okay. Uh, so, the mass of the earth and the radius of the earth akan diberi di uh, depan kertas soalan eh. Dekat list of constant. Awak jangan risau. Okay. Therefore, the ratio AGM over AGE is equal to ha, tekan kalkulator elok-elok so you akan dapat 0 0.18 ini sahaja jawapannya tak ada unit eh sebab unit AGM dah cancel dengan unit AGE boleh eh ok so finish example number 4 that's mean we have finished discuss all examples in subtopic uh, 7.1 under gravitational field strength ok jadi dalam video seterusnya kita akan sambung dengan gravitational potential energy ok jumpa lagi Assalamualaikum bye bye